Nearly all of us have memory problems as we age. We oh, speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not Charlie, just me. But the brains of some so-called super agers seem to stay young, and researchers believe they may show us how to improve our mental health. Dr. James Galvin is a professor of neuro neurology and psychiatry at New York University. Okay, this is so fascinating. Okay. We love this story. What are super agers? So super agers are defined as people in their 80s, who have memory performance the same as people in their 50s or 60s. Why do they have that? That's a great question. So the investigators were looking at this, and interestingly, when they looked back at their records, there were really weren't a lot of differences between people uh, from the medical records who have super memories and those who don't. Uh, when they studied them by MRI, by yeah, imaging exactly. their brain, what they found was that they had less loss of brain cells. They had less atrophy. Okay. And so, so how can so, we be super aged? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, well, let me hold one second. Right. Why do they have less atrophy is the question. Well, that's, that's what the investigation is really looking at, why they have less but atrophy. We don't know that yet. We don't know that okay, yet. So, so yeah. then how do we get these super brains? Right. Yeah. So as people age, you think about their brain, a complex organ. It's a combination of time as you age, your genes, which you can't change, and then your environment, which you can. So you can think about brain diseases really as a, a disorder of a lifetime and sort of things we can do to build a better brain. Uh, we can stay mentally active, physically fit, socially engaged, eat a heart-healthy diet. Um, well, okay, we do all those things. Right. What else? <laughs> but well, well, more important, we can avoid head injuries. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We could protect ourselves. We could have good positive lifestyles, so no right. smoking, drinking, drug use. And I think even more importantly is that when we find we have a problem is to go to medical attention really early because one of the strongest risk factors for memory problems are things like high blood pressure and diabetes. And if you don't take care of those, it's going to really affect your brain as you get older. But physiologically, was there anything else unique about their brains? You said they had less atrophy. They had less was atrophy. Um, there what about was size? The, the size of the brain was, was for the 80 years old, looks just like the 50-year-old brains. And the few people who had died, they had studied under autopsy, they seemed to have actually more neurons, more brain cells in certain regions of the brain that are responsible for the higher order processing uh, that we do with our memory and thinking. Not just in, in the future, you think there'll be something you can do be, that, that will change things? In other words, is there a miracle drug, a, a silver bullet or something? Well, if we know why these neurons and these yeah. individuals are staying so robust, in theory, you could find something that would help that all oh, people great. do that. That would wait. be the goal of therapy. Good. Dr. James Galvin, thank you so much. Thank Good you to so see much. You.